it's no nice way. Hey, Hassan, what about what about the noodles thing? What you said about the noodles, noodles on the sidewalk? You got yeah. the noodles on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, hey, make sure you get that shit packed, Hassan. And you know what I mean, but you know what? Make that a T-shirt, Hassan. Make that a T-shirt. I'm telling you, Hassan, you gotta get some merch on that. Hassan, you gotta get some merch. Remember who was talking about that? Hassan, gotta get some merch. We need to keep the funky tees. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah. Like, is there any mother that you do support? Like when you got on uh, Trayvon Martin. You know what I'm saying? His mother, she went to do political things. Like, is there any mothers that you do support? Now, at the end of the day, this is about to be turned up a little bit. Salute to them. This is the video feed, basically. I think of Death of a Cloud Chaser, Educational Purpose on Apple. Salute to him. Now, this is WAP 100, Hassan Campbell, and Muwap related situation. How they react to all of it. And, and it's everything in one in a nutshell. We're going to get into that. I want y'all to hit the like button, notification bell. Let's rock out, gang. Listen, I support all mothers. Like, but at the same time, I also see through the bullshit. Y'all got to learn. Y'all got to see through the the. the, the the, the, the satanic rituals that's going on where motherfuckers be blood sacrificing their families and then you gotta see the real, the real tragic deaths that be happening. I'm not sympathetic to a motherfucker that sacrificed their goddamn children. Some of these Masonic motherfuckers be doing that. They wanna, they wanna be in higher positions. I understand that this is the world we live in. But I also understand that like, like I, I can't, like me, my heart goes out to duck mother but at the same time, if I was a baby father, I would beat her up. On some domestic violence shit. You're not gonna have all my kids die in the hood and then you sit up on social media. Like, nah, fuck that, bitch. But you gotta think about it, Hodge. You gotta think about it, Hodge. That's both parties' part. That's the male and the female part, right? Let, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, sometimes in life, women to chase a man away and a man to say, okay, you done raised this man and that man hate me. Sometimes some of these sons hate their fathers. You know, I, I lost six cousins to gang wars. Okay, six cousins. I didn't walk that. I didn't walk down that path. You know what I'm saying? I'm surrounded by gangsters all all the time through my family, through even my dad. So, but I still didn't choose that lifestyle. I got stabbed up recently, and I was only a boxer. You know what I'm saying? I was a prodigy. I, I was about to make go pro. You know what I'm saying? I got stabbed up really bad. And it fucked everything up. Even though I wasn't on the streets, I was still a target. But I still chose not to involve myself in the streets with my people. What part of Florida? I took a different path. Huh? What part of Florida? I'm from West Palm Beach. Okay, yeah, I'm from Broward. I'm from uh, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I feel you. West Palm's got some some dirty areas, but you you, you just gotta keep your nose clean. But but that, but that's the thing. You feel me? See how you said you 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 kept your nose out the street, and the street still found its way to you. You understand? Like so, with with, with Mama Duck and all that, and instead of her being a, a victim, she'd rather be like you know what I mean, like like the predator instead of being a prey. Especially if you live in the heart of the situation. Like how 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 how, how it sounded? How I did my research? Like like everybody was coming to her crib. You get what I'm trying to say? Get your questions up, ready? Yeah, yeah. Campbell. Campbell. I got a question. I got a question. <laughs> um, the question is, is like, what you think? Like, you know, you being from New York, you know, you not being from Chicago, you looking in on the outside. But like, what you think that, like, when it comes down to it, because the culture the same when it comes to drill, right? What you think that they can do to like maybe change the future? You know what I'm saying? Like, do they need to stop rapping about killing the dead? Do they need to stop rapping about the violence in general? What's to it? Well, listen, man. One of my dudes that make drill music, Five Guards. He's the beat. And he got music, like he made the song Black Lives Don't Matter. He he pretty much makes music where he's not dissing the dad. I'm not going to say that he never dissed the dad because I don't know that. But the music that I have and I've played from him that's drill is bananas. Crazy cat. Yes, and I got to make this clear. I'm not against. There is 
forces that we cannot see in the universe that's not pleased with you you insulting somebody that done left this world. That is the worst thing that you could do anyway. Why would you want to hurt somebody that's been hurt worse than what they could ever do? Like when you die, you leave in everything that you love. So now everything that you love is gone and you actually sitting up there and, and, and you just Subscribe you hurting that person more? Offline. You don't know if the dead can hear and see what's being said about them? Jim Jones is the age, Jim Jones is the age of a grandfather. And the image that he put out is aimed towards young boys. It's not aimed towards grown men. Grown men don't want to hear that stupid shit that they talk about. Maybe here and there, because I'm not gonna lie, I do like Jim Jones music, some of it. But at the same time, you're a billboard for children. 50-year-old men is not running around just throwing up gang signs. Jay-Z is an example of that. When you see Jay-Z, you see a grown-ass man. Even though That's I don't fair. agree with everything, with Jay-Z, when you see Jay-Z, you see a grown-ass man. So now the rest of these niggas is just toys of us kids? Yo, how they ain't on they grown man B.I., that's the problem, how it's like these, these, these niggas, like... I cannot feel New York no more because I come from, listen, the era of New York I came from, like, every block had its own crew. Even in Bronx River, I grew up in the project, but every building in Bronx River had their own crew. So, like, we didn't want to be like nobody else. I mean, we, we thought we was the flyest and we thought we was the illest. Like, Bronx niggas and Brooklyn niggas went at it all the time because we had to be the illest. Right. Now New York is a bunch of dick riders. I don't like New York no more. Well, all, all of us saying the same thing because Philly on the same shit, too. All of us from each part of the fucking the United States, like, every hood saying the same thing. Philly is following Chicago. We never was nah. on no gang shit. I, I, I think it's the, it's the Northeast that's really kind of, you know what I mean? Because so much of our people don't move, like, to Atlanta, to Cali, to Texas. You get what I'm trying to say? So most of the niggas who really get into a bag, they already done left, and then they come back and bring that influence back with them. You feel me? And then we can't really, you know what I mean? Influence the town, we wouldn't influence the town. I ain't gonna that, man. 50 Cent said it best, man. It's like a clock, it's a TV. Gang. Hey, yeah, son, uh, uh, 6 9 is in New York right now. Can you, like, uh, uh, wax out of that, you know? TV. So I was out talking to can, no, 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 listen, I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm just trying to ask for a video. Like, can, 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 can that happen? You know? Listen, if Dick Nine is in New York, yeah. Dick Nine know he can hit my phone at any given time. As a matter of fact, Dick Nine told me he was going to meet up with me when he came to New York. So at any given time, me and Dick Nine can sit up and, and, and sit down and talk. Because regardless of what, I don't... Nah, Dave, Shotty wasn't... Let me tell you something. When it's time for you to hop off the porch, you're going to know when it's time. Nobody ain't going to have to tell you. The, the greatest battle that's ever been fought has been fought. In so she moved out of Bronx River because she didn't want my younger brother to follow in my footsteps. So she moved out. And eventually, she, she made a mistake. She moved into Fall Rockaway, not realizing that shit was just as bad. But she moved into a house. She got out enough and she got a house to get the kids out of the danger. This is Fetty Hassan Campbell Jr. I've been a fan of yours ever since people made fun of you about the whole African Bambala stuff. How can you... If Let me say that. Yeah, that, that was a fact. That was Chief Keith Mama, not uh, Duck Mama. Let me say that. IG before, like, you one of the realest ones on YouTube, period. How do you go through the things that you've been through in your life and still got a smile on your face? Yo, honestly speaking, that's a good question. I cried. Like, let me tell you something. Oh, damn. I did forget about Big T up next. Fuck y'all niggas on my ass. Y'all niggas on it's my ass. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. The Chicago I know, I know nigga, my, my aunt called me on the phone, nigga. and she just told me that my uncle died. So right before I, call, I called, I called there. I mean, I clicked in. My uncle just died. Now, this that's not even the worst part about it, right? Because my cut his daughter, my cousin Angie... Her daughter's two, right? King Bond, yo, King Bond. They can name at least thirteen people that he murdered and shot, murders and attempted murders. Where he did it at, like that girl Ki, right? Everybody knows all of the bodies 
I've never in my life seen people knew like, yo, he killed all of these people. It used to be a mystery when somebody got murdered. Everybody knows who killed who in Chicago, which means the feds know too, and it's on the internet. So all of them niggas should have been locked up a long time ago under the RICO Act. So that's why you know that Dirk is pretty much out here to do the devil's work. And that drill music is poison. Hey, yo, Haas, I'm protected in Chicago, Haas. Hey, but look, look, WAC 100, you know what I'm saying? He got a relationship with Dirk. Like, I know he, he feel, a, you know what I'm saying, a different type of way about it, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, everybody's entitled to their feelings, but you got to understand something. I see things for what they are, not what they appear to be. Bottom line to it is the industry, the, 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 the music industry is Satan's dance floor, right? This is why they killed off R&B and now they put some drill. Drill music could be so dope if they stop disrespecting the dead. Really good, for real. That's, That's a fact. Um, you guys, I'm going to start opening up the hand raising. So if you have any questions, you know, certain spots out there, it, it Cali is energy points. And if you wake up the sleeping giant within black people and educate them, you're the most dangerous. Create in the next atom bomb to fill you off. They're going to make YouTube family. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, gang. We out.